In this video, we're going to go over how to record audio or voiceover into a separate track. Then we're going to explore how to record vocal audio into another file, which is my preferred method. There are several ways to record audio into a separate file, and I'm going to show you a couple different ones. But first, let's record audio into a separate track. I don't really like this option. I want to keep my audio separate for one. Uh, for two, Action Recorder doesn't always um, work correctly um, with this option. And it's more difficult to extract your audio, especially when it doesn't work correctly. But here's how to do it. First, I'm going to make sure system uh, record system sounds is checked. Go to settings then the audio tab and then check record microphone into a separate audio track and when I go to record I can either choose AVI or MP4 but in order to export the file it has to be AVI sometimes it will record separate audio into a MP4 but depending on how it records it it's not always possible to extract it. Sometimes I can bring it into Premiere Pro and extract that audio. But for some reason, it doesn't always work. So if you're going to do this method, make sure you're on AVI so you can export the file. Now let's give it a test. I'm going to bring up a YouTube video. I'm going to select Record a Region. I'm going to play the file and then record. This is an audio test of recording voiceover into a separate track. To get the second audio track, the one with the voiceover, you have to export the file. You can either right click on it and click export file or come down to the bottom and export the file. And you have to select audio 2, which is the voiceover track. Now this only exports one audio track with the video. So if you want the video and both audio tracks, you have to either export it twice if you want MP4 format or export it once with a second audio track on MP4 and use the AVI video with the first track of audio. So when I click audio 2 and hit start, it's going to export the video and I exported it to the same folder. So with these two files combined, you have both audio tracks. And you can bring these into an editor and just pull the audio off of one or the other and use it. And sometimes you can just bring the original video into an editor and have both audio tracks. I'm not sure why it doesn't work this way all the time, but it is a problem. My preferred option, like I said, is to record audio into a separate file. And to do that, I'm going to go over and uncheck record into a separate audio track. Then I'm going to say do not record. As an option, you could record on button down just to sync the audio between the video and the audio file. But it's usually not a problem to do that. So I usually do not record the audio. And there's a couple different methods of recording the audio file. You can record audio and video with action at the same time, separately, into two separate files. And to do that, it's easy just to use the hotkeys F9 and F10. Notice that I have three videos here and I have no audio files here. Now I'm going to hit the hotkeys F9 and F10 to start recording both the video and the audio. But first let's bring up a YouTube video. I'm going to play this YouTube video and I'm going to start the recording. This is a test of recording voiceover into a separate file using Action.
Now I've stopped the recording and notice I have an audio file here and I have another video file here. So this does work. You just have to sync the two together. But the option that I prefer is to use either an external recording device or to use another recording piece of software such as Audacity or Audition. Then you can bring both the video file and the audio file into your video editor and sync the two up and you have much more control over the audio. I hope this video was informative and enjoyable. Please leave any comments you have down below. Thank you for watching. God bless.